This is the Stuart Major Beam Engine Rebuild and it's part 23, fitting the water pump piping. I made the water pump piping in the last episode. And in this episode I need to make another pair of nuts for the front ends of the fittings. I have quite a lot of existing 3 8 by 32 union nuts. I always buy them from a friend of mine who seems to make the world's supply of union nuts these days. And again it's quite near to where I live. Now these union nuts are beautifully made. The nuts that I made are okay, they're just very workmanlike. So if I machine down some of these nuts, they'll look a lot better. So I did just that, put them in the chuck, machined them down, and when I put them in position, they look really nice. My friend Chris makes really good steam fittings. I think he must have inherited this skill from his father, who was one of the best model engineers I've ever met. When I was much younger than I am today, he was the one who showed me how to silver solder and just generally gave me hints and tips all the time. This man in question is called Don English, and his business is called Jubilee Fittings. They've been in business for a long, long time. Back to the rebuild now, and I just cannot warm to this mahogany piece. No matter what I do with it, it doesn't look right. In fact, I'm not going to use it. Executive decision. The brick and the brass plate look better. Yes, I think I preferred it this way. The next thing to look at is what I'm going to do about the corners. I have a choice of some brass angle or some mahogany angle. So I've already bought the brass angle and I could chop that up, but I think what I'll do is I'll make some mahogany angle and see what it looks like. I quite like the idea of framing the brick with mahogany to match the top. So as you can see what I've done here is I've glued two pieces of mahogany together with some cyanoacrylate adhesive, then using some square pieces of brass and lots of clamps to hold everything square, I'll leave it like this until everything sets. So I don't know what you think watching this, but I do think mahogany is the favourite at the moment. We shall see. One or two viewers have asked what kind of paintbrushes I use. The larger brushes from Windsor and Newton, ideal for varnishing larger pieces of wood. And the two green ones are from a company called Javis or Javis of Stockport. And again, very good quality brushes that do not shed the bristles and you get a great paint finish. One product that I actually sell is a 3 DVD set called How to Build a Model Steam Launch. Here's an excerpt from one of the episodes. A word about paintbrushes. The paintbrushes that you buy at DIY stores for about £3 for a packet of six really should be left in the DIY store. Buy yourself a good brush. I recommend this particular brand. They are not cheap at around £15 each, but they're worth every penny. The sound quality is a bit different on that clip, and I do apologise for this. It was the first one I did on the iMac, and I used the iMac's internal microphone, just to try and simulate being in the workshop, but it didn't really work. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.